I would like to start opening this video off with saying happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there. Thank you to all the active service members that we have protecting us around the country. Thank you to everyone that has tuned in and watched my videos and I hope you enjoyed today's video. All right, so like I said yesterday, we were gonna get a uh, seed drill, but we went today and the seed drill is massive. We don't have a farming operation at my house. So we rented out this Stinger. We got it last year. It has this hopper on top. It seems to take all 50 pounds of the K31 fescue. Uh, I'm gonna send up a drone to a time lapse of what's going on. And this is the seed we're using right here. The Kentucky 31 fescue, we got a green resource. Pull this hopper up. Gonna turn the key on. Now the key's on. Here's the throttle. This is the up and down the augers. That's it. Have the the aerator go up and down. It's on a foot pedal here. It goes on pressure. This is the setting. We're gonna set that. We turn that on. And then to auto. So that one's we're going. So the front yard doesn't look as green as the backyard. The whole property was cut at two inches prior to doing the aerating where during the summertime I cut at five inches. The front yard was sodded by the builder. I believe it's a Kentucky bluegrass where the backyard is all fescue K31. I put down last year 900 pounds to establish grass. There's some bare spots, but yet I'll take it. I'm pretty happy with what came up.
since Monique and I purchased this house, this section here has always died immediately. The side that was placed seems to burn out. I don't know if there's some sort of fungus issue going on in that area, but every single year we've had to seed heavily. It grows and then dies. If you guys have a chance to try one of these stingers, the stand-on aerators that you drive, it's it's very, very comfortable. It's easy to use. It works fantastic. You have this section where you could go ahead and choose how much seed you want to put down. Uh, the flow rate, there's a flow chart on it for your seed or what you're putting down. Um, it, it worked like a dream and it was a lot better than walking with a bag seeder and having to do that several times or this you just you're doing two things at once. Yesterday we went out and filmed, we rented out a Stinger, the driving aerator, uh, and it also had the, the attachment on top so we could drop seat as we were aerating. Uh, we were kind of racing the storm so I didn't get much uh, talking time. I kind of put it on time lapse, sent up the drone. I was working at my house, today I'm at my parents' house in the office, it's raining. We got some remnants of the storm that just hit Florida. So uh, I'm just gonna kind of put it together. It was a fast video. And like I always say, thank you guys very much for watching. I do appreciate everyone who has subscribed and has the time to watch these videos. It, it really does mean a lot. Um, this coming week, we have some more stuff. I'm going to try to get down there and start splitting some some of those trees we took down. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and cut down some more trees uh, after this weekend and film some of that stuff. If you guys have anything you would like to see or try or have me try filming in, in, in the property here, Please let me know. I do have to get a, some rock crushed gravel brought in. Uh, I'm getting prices as we speak regarding uh, having that brought so I can do this path down below. Also, I think I'm going to start using the trail that I made with my uncle that day. Uh, I, I would like to, off the driveway, have a path come down and use that so we don't have to actually use the grass and destroy the, uh, the, the seed we just put down and or the little bit of uh, lawn that they have in their backyard my parents house so again uh thank you very very much for everyone who does watch these it does mean a lot i never thought i'd even have more than a few subscribers let alone 20 so thank you everyone that is a subscriber thank you very very much it means a lot to me and 
I hope you guys have a safe, happy weekend, uh, and happy Veterans Day to everyone.